We have finally received some updates about the up and coming adult Aang movie and they're kind of confusing. We received the voice cast of the movie, which is amazing, but there is a lot of misinformation going around right now surrounding the release date, Zuko, if the film is a trilogy or not, and much more. So sit back, relax, and let's attempt to clear this all up because as you guys know, I am Avatar Studios unofficial PR manager at this point. Firstly, here is the image associated with the movie from last year's CinemaCon that was fortunately leaked for us to see. But there is one problem as we don't actually know whether this image is still a good representation of the movie or not. One, because it wasn't shown again, and two, there was actually no new image shown this time, which was a little weird. But we did get a bunch of other cool news, so let's just move along to that. Aang is going to be 24 in this movie and is the movie's lead. He is going to be voiced by Eric Nam, who is a singer, songwriter, and television personality based in South Korea. Now, this man has a pretty large following and is probably the biggest person out of everyone who's voiced an Avatar character. Researching this guy a little bit, I'm unsure of his voice acting chops as I don't think he's ever done that type of work before, but hearing his voice alone, he 1000% gives me adult Aang vibes. I can imagine adult Aang sounding exactly like him. And honestly, he kinda sounds like Zack Tyler Eisen as an adult anyway. Here, if you don't believe me, take a listen for yourself. No way. They just like wander in here. They're just like little munchkin doggies that just be like, hey. I can't, hold on, I need to mentally prepare myself. <sighs> Toph is obviously the same age as Aang and is coming in at 24 years of age in this movie and will be voiced by Dion Kwan. Dion Kwan is a known voice actress and has voiced many iconic shows such as The Rugrats and The Fairly Odd Parents. Now the cool thing about this casting is that she is in fact legally blind just like Toph. She's typically voiced younger characters as far as I know and I don't really want to show off that stuff because it could give people the wrong interpretation of things, but here is a clip of her talking. And it was really amazing. I I experienced in the 21 days, not having even worked with him in person, the- To me, that sounds like adult Toph. She could honestly just use her regular voice in this role and everyone would be happy. I'm super excited to hear what she does as Toph. Katara is 26 years old in this movie and will be voiced by Jessica Matten. This was actually leaked last year, so it's nice it's finally confirmed. Jessica Matten is mainly known for her acting in real movies, and as far as I know, this is her first time ever voice acting. Uh, judging things based on her previous roles, I can see her as a great Katara. Now, Jessica Matten not only sounds like she'd be a good Katara, but just look at her. She kind of looks like adult Katara. If there was ever an adult Katara live action movie or TV series, I'd want her to be live action Katara. Katara. So Netflix, if you get those rights, try to make something work here. That would be so cool. If you have the same Katara in both universes, everyone wins. Sokka is 27 years old and is being voiced by Roman Zaragoza. Roman is a relatively new actor. He's not been in many different TV shows and to my knowledge, he also has never voice acted before. But looking through the roles he's played in the past, he's played more shy and reserved characters, which is basically the opposite of Sokka. But hearing him in interviews, actually gives me a lot of confidence. He's always saying how he's happy to be on set, laughing with everyone, and is always super grateful to even be given these opportunities. Now that, right there, that gives Sokka vibes. Wait, someone's missing. Where's Momo? Where's the Momo casting? No, I'm just kidding. Where is Zuko? Why have they not mentioned anything about Zuko? In this CinemaCon panel, Zuko was not mentioned a single time. We know Zuko himself was in last year's teaser, but now would have been the perfect time to announce that Dante Vasco will be reprising his role as Zuko. Twitter would have gone insane, but they didn't do it for some reason. Almost two full years ago, Avatar News leaked that casting calls went out for the movie, but they didn't send any out for Zuko as Dante Bosco would be returning. This would have been a great time for them to officially announce that here, unless things have changed or it wasn't a done deal. Uh, maybe the official Instagram account will post about this. Oh, never mind. They're posting about Fortnite. Code avatars, by the way, if you want to support your boy, it helps out a lot. There's a few possibilities here. One, Zuko has no lines in the movie, so there's no need for him to have a voice actor. Two, Zuko is no longer in the movie as he will have his own standalone movie next, or three, Dante Bosco just had scheduling conflicts and for whatever reason, he couldn't do it so they're going to cast someone else. Or four, they just forgot to mention Zuko. 
for some reason. I think the first two are likely, uh, but yeah, maybe there's a chance. There's a chance I just forgot to mention Zuko. But by far the craziest thing that was announced here is that Dave Bautista is going to be voicing the villain of this movie. Dave Bautista, WWE superstar turned actor. Honestly, I think this is perfect. Everyone on Twitter is always like, what villain is going to be strong enough to take on Team Avatar? Prime Team Avatar. Well, whoever it is, if they're being voiced by Dave Bautista, they have to be a fucking badass. They have to be. Everyone's always like, hey, Dave Bautista should play Combustion Man in the live action. And I'm like, yeah, that could actually work pretty well. Could you imagine if the main villain of this movie is Combustion Man coming back? That wouldn't be good, but... It would be fitting, definitely be fitting, but it wouldn't be good. Honestly, you need someone of that stature to be voiced by Dave Bautista. Seven foot tall, buff as hell, that that just needs to happen. I can't imagine Dave Bautista voicing some short, skinny guy. Just I just don't think it'd work. The director of this movie is Lauren Montgomery, and the producers are Brian Konietzko, Michael Dante DiMartino, Latifa Way, and Marion Garger. Now that's a pretty stacked lineup. Lauren Montgomery worked on the original series and was a storyboard artist for the Hama episode, which is one of my favorite episodes. Mike and Brian are of course the people who made Avatar, Latifa was a producer on Puss in Boots, and Marion Garger has produced some pretty cool stuff as well. Let's go over the release date title and everything else because there is a lot of misinformation going around right now. October 10th, 2025 was the last release date we heard for this movie, and that was announced over two years ago, and we've heard no official updates about that release date. We've only heard rumors that it was delayed, but nothing official. Now, the weird thing is, today was their presentation at CinemaCon and they didn't give us any updates on the release date or even reiterate the old one. Everyone is just assuming it's still on because they didn't say anything, but given the layoffs, the strikes, we just don't know. CinemaCon is not for bad news. CinemaCon is only for good news. You don't relay bad news at CinemaCon. This is to hype people up. So, even if it was delayed, it wouldn't have been announced here. That's going to be announced sometime at the end of the year, I assume, if it is delayed at all. I'm still hoping it comes out on time. The movie is currently under the working title Aang The Last Airbender. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of that title. It seems like Avatar Studios has been having a title crisis recently. Is the franchise Avatar Legends now? Or is it still Avatar The Last Airbender? Dash, whatever the next thing is called. Like, the novels are kind of ridiculous when it comes to that. Avatar The Last Airbender. Dash. Avatar Chronicle. Dash, the dawn of Yang Chan, Dash, Avatar Leg- Like, it's I really think it would have been iconic if the movie was just named Aang. Just Aang. That's it. But I can also see why they wanted to add The Last Airbender into the title. Uh, overall, it's a lot better than the last working title that was leaked, Avatar The Last Airbender Echoes and Aftershocks. I was not a fan of that one. There are a ton of rumors stating that this film will be a trilogy, but I think that's just a misunderstanding because for years, whenever they've talked about Avatar Studios, they said there are three separate standalone movies, but now people are reporting it's a trilogy. Uh, they've either scrapped years Years of hard work on the other standalone movies, or this is a misunderstanding. My money is on it being a misunderstanding. 